Happy Veganuary! We hope that it's going well for you and in case it isn't or you're struggling we thought we'd come along and give you a few tips that we wish that we'd had. Editing this video it appears that we have forgotten to explain what Veganuary is. Veganuary is just vegan January essentially. It's just the month of January where people try to reduce their meat intake and their dairy intake as much as possible. All right let's get started. Tip number one make the easy changes so you don't need to just change your diet completely just off the bat you don't have to go cold turkey and just make some of the simple ones so like milk replacing dairy milk with oat milk or soy milk or almond milk or butter with, um, i can't believe it's not butter yeah that's the best one so far vegan butter is really good essentially what we're saying is that instead of trying to completely change your entire diet make the same dishes you'd usually be making but just change the ingredients with plant based ingredients for example, chili non carne or vegan mince if you're making bolognese. I find like vegan mince is, is a really easy one because it, it tastes quite similar. And the second tip is another difference between what will be an easy transition and what will be an easy transition. Yeah, so like sausage rolls. Um, sausage rolls are a big one because I actually prefer vegan sausage rolls, I think they're a lot better. Um, so yeah, just make like the easy changes, like burgers off the bat are going to be a little bit of a weird one because they're not as firm, they're not as juicy. But stuff like cheese, like vegan cheese is I feel like a pretty easy one with the Cathedral City cheese. And uh, chicken burgers, if you're like going to a restaurant like Mildred's or like Unity Diner, if you're in London, if you're not in London, suck it. <laughs> chicken burgers are normally like a bit better than uh, like vegan beef burgers. It's like vegan chicken burgers, I feel like they've just kind of nailed that a bit more, the chicken and bread crumb aspect. So that's an easier change to make. So just make the changes that aren't as intense and it will help you ease your way into it. In general, other things that I find taste good and are easy changes are sausages. The This Isn't Sausages are really good and they taste quite realistic. Yeah, they're like a gateway drug until like you build up to like vegan ribs. And vegan duck tastes quite good. I yeah, like the Linda duck. McCartney vegan duck. So you can just use those in your normal recipes. And I think changing the things that have a higher chance of tasting good are going to keep you on the path, if that makes sense, and just make the transition a bit easier. Yeah. Smash or pass the Linda McCartney? I've never seen her. Pass. <laughs> okay. Alright, moving on. <laughs> Tip number three. Uh, make sure you get in all your nutrients, otherwise you will die. Spontaneous combustion is a real thing, people, and I wish more people were aware of it. I think a lot of people that come off of a plant-based diet say that they needed to because they weren't getting the right vitamins or the nutrients. So make sure that when you're doing this, you are still getting your B12. That's usually in milk and then a lot of plant-based meats nowadays. But if not, just get a supplement. Easy peasy. Yeah, I'm going to send easy peasy. <laughs> From Holland and Barrett, make sure you're still getting in your iron and your protein and all of those are really good to get through nutritional yeast. That's a really easy way to it's get them. It kind of tastes like cheese. Which is like a nutty cheesy taste. So just make sure that you have that. Watch out for products that say with vitamin blah blah blah. Yeah. And also, next tip, tip number 52. Focus on the small wins, like stuff that's already vegan in your diet, so like Oreos are vegan. Biscoff is vegan. Um, different breads are vegan. Pasta is usually vegan. Yeah, ketchup. Sh chocolate shreddies are a big one. They're vegan. Barbecue sauce. So you're probably already eating a lot of stuff that you don't even know is vegan. If that's the case, just, just stock up on that stuff and uh, it'll make everything a lot easier. Yeah, you don't have to go out and search for all the big brands of vegan chocolate when you can just have Oreos, Bourbons. Yeah, chocolate bourbon. Those, those are usually vegan. The little ones I know for sure are vegan. There's a cat outside of the I can't stop looking at it. <laughs> he just attacked a twig and then fucked off. Just look through your cupboard, see what's already vegan, and just keep stocking up on that. Yeah. Tip number 79. Find someone to do it with. Hold each other accountable. Like, I don't know if you go to the gym, but it's so much easier to go to the gym with someone. And it's the same thing with doing veganuary or trying to eat less meat. I do it with my friend. Basically, every lunch, because we work together as well, every lunch we'll just go out and uh, we'll try and get something plant-based instead of you know, meat or dairy. Um, and we just hold each other accountable and it's made it so much more easy. It's made it, it's made it more fun. I don't review all the time. Yeah, we look out, like we hunt for vegan things when we go in a shop yeah. and any new additions that may be interesting. It just makes it a little fun thing instead of 
finding it a burden. Yeah, it's yeah. Don't look at it as oh, I've got to go and do this, or now I've got to go and find this. Kind of turn it into a game, turn it into like a oh, I get to try this, or oh, I'm going to give this a shot. Yeah. And like some of the stuff, you will be shit. It's like anything, right? You won't like some things, you might like other things. That's like anything in life. Agreed. Um, so just yeah, find someone to do it with. And do it together. Yeah. Tip one thousand six hundred and four. Don't be upset if you slip up. Yeah. I think this is a really big one. Um, it's so much better for there to be a load of non-perfect vegans than just the one perfect vegan. Yeah. So if you find that, oh, I this had honey in it and I didn't know, that's fine. You didn't do it intentionally. And even if you did slip up and you were craving meat and you had meat for one meal, it's one meal. Yeah. Carry on with your day. Just don't eat meat the next one. Um, yeah. I, thought, I know so many people that were like vegetarian or vegan and just like gave up after they slipped up and went oh yeah okay I've, I've started now but you know this isn't a challenge this is just a fun thing to do to try to improve your life and to improve the life of the animals and to improve the environment so it's more of a long-term lifestyle thing don't try to be perfect and do everything exactly the way that it needs to yeah. be done but if you do slip up you will be got by the vegan please and you will lose all your superpowers so it's tough that's a Scott Pilgrim reference, you haven't watched that film, but some people will have. And finally, tip 9604. Have fun with it. Yeah. Try new places, experience new foods. If you like traveling, try and find vegan food abroad. That's always a, a, a fun thing to do and, and, and see how much vegan infrastructure these countries have got. Like we went to Norway and there was tons. Um, and we went to Crete and there wasn't really much. So, yeah, although they have some, like some of their traditional foods are naturally plant-based like the stuffed tomatoes yeah that was just rice and veggies so yeah just have fun with it if you see a new vegan product come out like lind has just released a new vegan chocolate bar go try it have fun see what it tastes like see if you like it see if you don't don't eat no cats or dogs or pigs or cows yeah you can eat chicken stuff or chickens oh one more thing that i want to say is i mean i can't speak from experience but i think Telling other people that you're trying to do this and you're trying to reduce your meat intake and you don't want to eat meat as much anymore or dairy will just help them realize that and they'll probably help you along. Mm. Like they'll look out for things for you or they'll buy you some things maybe or they'll just cook with you in a plant-based way. Yeah, I think that's yeah. really nice. Yeah, I agree. Or they'll um, stock up their fridge and be like, oh, look what I found you. Yeah, exactly. So don't sit there and think I have to do this on my own. Yeah, like, keep I'm it to really yourself. Scared. Yeah, Like tell people about it and you know what? They might be really nice and help you out or try to help you along your journey or even do it with you you never know so if those tips were helpful to you then we would appreciate a thumbs up and subscribe to us if you want to see more veganuary tips and travel content we do a lot of food content here as well if we missed any tips that you think would help any fellow people trying to do veganuary then put them in the comments, help a fellow person out. So yeah, if you want to see any more travel and vegan food content, then subscribe to the channel. And if you would smash Linda McCartney, let us know. Yeah. <laughs> Other than that, if you want to see some behind the scenes stuff or some everyday content or some single product reviews, we kind of do that, then yeah. go check out our Instagram, Instagram and our TikTok. Give us a follow. Comment Linda McCartney smash or pass <laughs> on our latest post so, so we, we know, know that you're from this video yeah, <laughs> and we'll see you next week with hopefully another veganuary based content stay vegan in right. i've tried to make that a thing it's not gonna be <laughs> that's not gonna be a thing <laughs> let's move let's just move on <laughs> bye <laughs>